politics. We have some breaking news on that front coming out of Washington. Uh, the FBI is releasing new video regarding the person suspected of placing pipe bombs near the Capitol the night before the January 6th riot. It is one of the uh, biggest unsolved mysteries of that day. NBC News Justice Correspondent Pete Williams joins us now with more uh, on this from Washington. Pete, what does the video show? What more is the FBI saying about this case? Well, the investigators say they still don't know who did this, and they're hoping that these two new videos can help generate some valuable tips. The first one shows the suspect walking up to and sitting down on a park bench near the headquarters of the Democratic National Committee. Now, you don't actually see the person place the pipe bomb. The bomb is planted later after this surveillance video, but you see the suspect sitting down there at the park bench, reaching into a backpack, which the suspect was carrying, and uh, uh, taking out what appears to be a phone, you see the, the suspect sort of illuminated here in just a second from the light from the cell phone uh, as the suspect apparently looks at the phone, then puts it back in the backpack and walks away. The suspect was wearing a face mask, gray hoodie, black and white gray Nike Air Max Speed Turf shoes and gloves in addition to carrying a backpack. Now, all this happened between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. on January 5th the night before the Capitol riot. The second video is a map showing the route that the FBI believes the suspect took uh, from the Democratic National Committee there on the left side of the screen, and then the other bomb that was placed at the headquarters of the Republican National Committee, both of these uh, near the Capitol, the Republican National Committee on First Street, the Democratic National Committee on South Capitol, both of them in southeast Washington. And the, as the video rolls along, it's not just a still frame map, but you'll see the, the dot there of the person moving along. And then the video also, uh, there's a version of this video that lays in previously seen surveillance videos of the suspect walking along those various places. So there's, I gather, two versions of this map. One shows uh, the, just the route itself. And you, you see down in the lower right screen, Folger Park, that's just a block away from the Republican National Committee site. And here's, here's how it shows the video laid in of the suspect uh, walking along those various routes. It's from Folger Park that the FBI believes this person was based, although investigators now say they don't believe that the person was from this area of Capitol Hill. So they've obviously canvassed uh, probably every house along this route They've looked for every single frame of surveillance video that they can find, and they've been able to, by looking at all these various videos, uh, figure out where this person was walking, where they came from, and uh, how they came to, to plant this, uh, these two pipe bombs. Neither of the pipe bombs exploded, of course, but their discovery just hours before the rioters stormed the Capitol pulled away many law enforcement people from the Capitol, and it was a distraction to law enforcement. And it's, it's a, not only a mystery of who this person was, and I'm, I'm using the term person advisably because investigators haven't said whether they believe it's a man or a woman, but one of the uh, mysteries is the, these two pipe bombs made of metal pipe and what appeared to be ordinary kitchen timers. The analysts who've looked at them say they appeared to be fully functional. They were made with homemade black powder. So the question is, why didn't they go off? Right. Uh, and they've never been able to quite figure that out. What was the purpose of planting them? They just don't know because they don't know who this person was, Amen. Uh, Pete, real quick about this video. Do we know uh, in terms of why it's released now? Was it just recently acquired by the FBI? Or do we know if it was in their possession for some time but decided to release it now to get information? Well, with all of these videos, they sort of follow the same uh, function. They, with, when, when they get their hands on it, the first thing they do is analyze it and try to extract every last bit of, is, of evidence out of it before it's released publicly to see if there's something that can give them a jump on who this person is. When they're satisfied that they can't get anything more out of it themselves, that's when they turn it loose. They've done this now three or four times with different videos hoping that somebody will see something in the way this person moved, their mannerisms, the route they took. Uh, is there something familiar that will uh, strike people as familiar and, and make them want to call the FBI? I should say you can see these videos yourself on the FBI's website.